In this tutorial, let's create this amazing animation using After Effects. So let's create it without doing any complicated things. I'm pretty sure it will help you to create this kind of animations in your project. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. Create a composition. Let it be comp1. Now we need to create one more composition. Let's rename it to one. Now we need to import the paper PNG. I have already added some text on it and saved it as a PNG just to save your time. I will leave the link of it in the description. And now let's import the brush stroke animated green screen overlay. And let's add the key light effect on it to remove the green screen background. Pick the eyedropper tool and select the green color. Adjust the size of the brush stroke according to your needs. Now break the chain if you want to adjust it more accurately. And let's change its blending mode to multiply. This is what we have got as of now. Now let's freeze it on the large frame to have the brush stroke freeze throughout the duration. Now head back to the main composition, which is comp1, and now add this one comp into it. Create a solid layer with the ash color. Place it below the PNG layer. Now select the one comp and let's apply the CC paste turn effect on it. Adjust the fold position. Set the back page to none. And from here, choose the back page color. Increase the opacity to its fullest. And also adjust the fold radius and direction values according to your needs. Now hold the Alt key and click on the stopwatch icon or hold the position. And here in the expression tab, let's add this wiggle expression. Yeah, this one looks natural. Now make a copy of the pre comp by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard and rename it to OG which is original and the beneath one to the OG shadow. Turn off the view of OG layer for a while. Now select this OG shadow layer. Let's add the fill color. Choose some color like this and also we need to add one more effect called Bezier Wrap effect. What it does is it gives handles on each side with the help of them we can wrap the object. But here we need to animate only this bottom right vertex. Hold the Alt key and click on bottom right vertex stopwatch. Now with the OG layer selected, press E twice to open the expression tab. Now take this bottom right vertex pick whip and leave it on the fold position of OG shadow so that the bottom right vertex will have the same kind of wiggle animation. But here we cannot be able to adjust its position. We need to add this value to the expression. Now we can easily adjust it according to our needs. I think here we need to turn off this page turn effect on this layer. Now adjust the bottom right vertex according to your needs. Now turn on the view of OG layer and let's see what we have got. Yeah, that looks damn good. In case if you see any part of the shadow layer like this, select the shadow layer and select the Bezier Wrap effect and let's adjust these handles a little bit down so that it stays beneath the OG layer. Now change the blending mode of the shadow layer to multiply. Now come to about 2 second frame, something like that. And now select the OG layer and make a copy of it and by being on that frame, split the layer by pressing Ctrl Shift D on the keyboard. Now select the first part and delete it and rename this part to split one. Now with the split one layer selected. Select the pin tool and draw a path as shown here. Now press M on the keyboard to open its mask properties. Make sure the mask mode is set to add. Let's turn off these OG layers for a while. And to have the page turn effect on this page as well, let's decrease the Y coordinate value of fold position until and unless you see the page curl effect. Yeah, here we go. This one is fine. Make a copy of this split layer by pressing Ctrl D. Place it below the split one layer and rename it to split one shadow. Turn off the split one layer as well. Now select the OG shadow layer and select the Bezier wipe effect and press Ctrl C to copy the effect. And now head back to the split one shadow layer and paste the Bezier wipe effect by pressing Ctrl V. Now let's add the fill effect. Make sure the fill color is same as the previous one. I think we need to turn off this CC paste turn effect on this layer. Now let's turn on the view or split one layer. Let's see what we have got. You can adjust the shadow layer according to your needs with the help of these Bezier warp handles. Now make a copy of the split one layer and rename it to split two. Now open the mask properties by pressing M. Before we change the mask mode, let's turn off the view of every other layer and let's invert the mask mode to subtract by clicking on this inverter checkbox. 
turn off CC page turn effect and make a copy of split to layer and rename it to split to shadow and place it below the split to layer and with the split to shadow layer selected let's add the fill effect on it turn off the split to layer select the split one shadow layer and copy the busy of app effect and paste it on the split to shadow layer now turn on every layer and let's see what we have got yeah that's perfect now by being on the frame right where the split part begins select both the og and og shadow layers and press ctrl shift d to split the layers and just delete the second parts this is how it looks as of now let's create an all object and select the split 2 and split 2 shadow layers and paint them to the null 1 layer now open the position properties of null by pressing p on the keyboard add a keyframe at the frame where the split happens and come few frames forward and just position it below and then move it to the left with the help of x coordinate value select both these keyframes and easy ease by pressing f9 but here the split 2 layer is moving without having any wiggle effect now select the layer and turn on the cc page turn effect on it and adjust the curl of the page with the help of y coordinate value as shown here now here the path line is linear let's make it a bit curvy right click on the starting point and go to keyframe interpolation and set the spatial interpolation to bezier and here adjust the path a bit curvy as shown here here we go that's much perfect and again if you see any shadow part like this just adjust it with the help of bezier handles Yeah, that looks good. Now we need to add some text. Here I'm using Helvetica font for this text and position it above as shown here. Before adding the text, let's add the scale up animation for this paper. Create a null object and select these four layers and parent them to the null 2 layer. Since these two layers are already parented to the null 1 layer, so let's directly parent the null 1 layer to null 2. Open the null 2 scale properties by pressing S. Now let's minimize its scale about this much. Here I am just doing a scale up animation and now with no layer selected select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle shape as shown place it below all the composition layers and choose its fill color something like this add the scale up animation for this one as well adjust the position of it at the center now make a copy of the text layer and re-edit the text in it and position it accordingly add the rest of the text layers now offset those text layers so that it aligns perfectly with the audio. Hurry yeah, let's delete these keyframes. Let's have the full on scale up animation without having any stoppage. Select these keyframes and easy ease. Now let's create the window shadow effect. For that we need to create a solid layer with black color and with no layer selected. Select the pen tool and draw a shape as shown and now make a copy of the shape layer and position it below. Now let's pre comp these shape layers and set the track mat to the solid layer. And also set the track mat of the solid layer to the pre comp and then invert it by clicking on this icon and then enable the view of solid layer. Minimize the solid layer opacity to about 60%. Now, with the pre comp layer selected, apply the Gaussian blur effect on it. Increase the blurriness to about 65% and select these layers and start them from where the split happens. And now apply some text animation on the text layers. Let's add the random fade in animation for the word ear. Press U to open its keyframes and just adjust those keyframes like this so that it randomly fades in. And for this text, let's add the fade of words animation. And finally, let's add the typewriter animation on the 2025 text layer. Adjust the keyframes as so. So, yeah, here we go. Now, after the split happens, we need to add some text here to appear immediately after the split. So, select the text tool and type the text. Align the text at the center, select the no more word and choose the Tempest Sans ITC font and for waiting let's have the Viner Hand ITC font and also choose the red color for it. Ok let's start from this frame and position it as shown. Make a copy of it and position it below as shown here and then re-edit the text. Now select both these text layers and position them below all the composition layers and offset those layers so yeah here we go this is the final preview i hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching